My name is Mike Musser. I'm a roof repair technician at Best Contracting. I'm Sarah Musser. I work at Blessings of Hope. I'm the manager for the front desk receptionists at Leola in East Petersburg. I actually grew up in a Christian home. I went to a Christian school. Um, my parents couldn't afford to send me to the Christian school, so they pulled me out around sixth grade in high school, sent me to a public school, and it was a culture shock to me. And so I just reached out to whoever I could, whoever would pay attention to me. And it happened to be the wrong people, unfortunately. And it all started there. I started drinking when I was like 15. And when I got older, it wasn't out of hand or anything. It was like social, whatever, whatever. But when I got older, I was like 20 years old. I got kidney stones, terrible. I had chronic kidney stones and it took them six years to figure out what was going on with my kidney stone problem. And they put me on Oxycontin, painkillers, narcotics, and I got addicted to them. And it just turned into a snowball effect. And it, it was to the point where I went until I was homeless and didn't have any hope or any care in the world and for two years. And uh, I was struggling. I used to go to their free meals and I always felt welcome when I was there, and I'll never forget that. Um, I was at a point that I didn't have money for food, and when I did, I didn't spend the money for food, so I didn't care if I ate or not, and that's how I ate. Um, I was homeless, and I was there, and they made me feel welcome, and I'm now doing very well. I have six years from that lifestyle and I met my beautiful wife. We started a ministry, a street ministry now, following in Ebenezer's footsteps at a smaller level. And uh, we do what we can. We feed the homeless and hand out clothing and other items. We're doing Christmas bags this year for for the homeless and people in need. We're doing 60 bags. So a year ago, we registered here at Blessings of Hope as a partner ministry. So we were able to come in and select food and other items to go hand out to the people we're ministering to. I go in, we go into the, to Lancaster and hand out stuff and people recognize me. Mm -hmm. From six years ago, I was homeless with some of these people and living on the street with them. And they're like, what happened? Like, they can't even believe it. Cause you know what I mean? Here I am married, I have a new truck. I have, I'm handing out food to people that I used to be homeless with. They're like, what happened? It's like, God happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's no explanation other than that. God saved me. And, and I'm, I, it's a living testimony. So they can't say, it can't be done. You know what I mean? And like, when they ask me that, I'm like, you can do it too. You know what I mean? You can't tell me you can't, because I've been there. It just takes a little work and a lot of prayers and some good people behind you to help you out on your way.